Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a late slide rest in Katia V5. On the right side you can see the completed assembly file of the late slide rest with the different parts being assembled in it. So we are in the product mode and uh, these are the different parts which are required for the complete assembly. On the left side you can see the different views with different drawings which are required to do the design see uh, this one is the assemble drawing uh, and you have the different parts being assembled so by using this drawing we are going to assemble all of the parts together and we have the different part names the material of it and the number of items which are being used to complete the design alright now I'll just come into this uh, main part main drawing in which we have all the parts and I'll zoom into the first part that is a compound slide base which we're going to design right now so let me just uh, skip into the compound slide base and I'm going to show you this is the design so this is the part which we can see over here this one this one so we're going to design that so you can have a closer look of that part which we're going to design in this tutorial alright now let's come into the part design workbench <coughs> and uh, whenever we are doing the uh, design in Ketia make sure that uh, you are first putting the name of the part which we are designing and then put the number part number and then put the name of that particular part click on ok and you get the new drawing alright now the first thing we're going to design is we need to analyze the drawing and we can see that uh, this particular disk uh, is what we should design first because that is that forms as a base so I'll select the XY plane click on the sketch and create a circle a simple circle with this as a center and the diameter of that circle is 150 come out of the sketch and do a padding of you can see the padding is of 16 here alright now you need to make another padding you can see from the top view you can see a dotted line don't doubt this as a whole this is shown as a do dotted line from the top because it is not seen from the top and you have a protrusion on the bottom so select the bottom plane here click on the sketch and in here create another circle and that's of uh, diameter 48 which you can see here 48 come out of the sketch again so this particular part will be the toughest part in this whole particular uh, assembly so this itself is a kind of easy so you can just guess uh, how the other parts will be so this must be a 4 which you can see here 4 so when you're doing the uh, drawing make sure that you uh, refer all the different drawings to make sure you don't make any mistakes now you need to drill two holes so select the hole command click on the position sketch and make sure you move the hole somewhere at the side so I can do the dimensioning easily this must be right click coincidence and this distance must be of uh, see from where you can see it's 50 here so give a 50 come on the sketch and now up to next you give here and the diameter of the hole you can see from any yeah, diameter 18 alright now you need to make another hole of the same diameter in the same fashion but on the other side move the point this side give a coincidence and a distance of say 50 come out of the sketch up to next 18 diameter that's it now okay we got the base and the base is ready for our compound slide base so we'll go systematically uh, with the design 
and if you have any doubts regarding this particular part of the tutorial please let me know you can comment below on my video and I'll be getting in touch with you as soon as I find time if you have any CAD projects please feel free to write to me at ktia.pro.user at gmail.com catia.pro.user at gmail.com thank you so much for watching and stay tuned